What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our college football channel. We are ready for week three now. It's our week three college football playoff eliminator as we have several new eliminations. Some that we did not see coming and also some teams that now have a loss that are not quite out of it but probably not going to make it. They're pretty much out of it and we'll kind of separate the one loss teams uh, as far as the teams that really are, are probably out and the ones that still have a really good chance or at least a decent chance. So let's get right to it. We'll start with the teams that were already eliminated coming into this week. We had all the group of five teams except for UCF. Remember Cincinnati was eliminated uh, last week and so we eliminated them last week. They were the other group of five team that had a chance and all the independents are out except for, you know, we had Notre Dame, BYU, and Liberty has a chance. Their schedule, they play some pretty good teams. So those teams have a chance, or at least coming into the year, they had a chance. But let's look at the new eliminations this week. And we've got several. Boston College, they lost to Virginia Tech, lost their second game of the season. Colorado lost their second game, losing to Air Force. Nebraska losing to Georgia Southern. Big surprise there. And of course, a one loss game, a one score game. Uh, this was the last one score game for Scott Frost at Nebraska. He has lost his job. Notre Dame, wow, where did this come from? Losing to Marshall. They're now eliminated. Did not expect to eliminate them in week two. UCF, they lost to Louisville. Again, a group of five team has to go undefeated. So they were the last hope. Group of fives now are done. And West Virginia loses to Kansas, their second loss. They are now eliminated. You might be wondering about Marshall. What about Marshall? They now have a win over Notre Dame. The problem for Marshall is if you look at their schedule, that's really it. They don't have anything else on the schedule, no other resume builders. And Notre Dame already has two losses, and they don't look like they're going to be a great team anyway, so that may not even be that great of a win at the end of the day. So I don't think Marshall is back from the dead. We'll see if Notre Dame kind of creeps back up into the top 15 or so and Marshall continues to win, we might have a chance to bring them back from the dead. They're going to have to win convincingly every single week, though, with their schedule to have any chance. I still think they're out of it. And again, these are the new eliminations this week. Let's talk about the teams that still have a chance as we kind of shape up the playoff picture here. We'll start with the one-loss teams that are probably done just because of who they lost to or because of just the perception and the fact that, that it, they're going to have so far to climb to have a chance to even get in this conversation. Arizona, again, wait, Mississippi State's not a bad loss, but they're just so far down. I don't see them coming out of nowhere. Arizona State with a loss to Oklahoma State, they're they're not going to make it. Boston College, uh, they're actually Boston College was on the eliminated page, so I accidentally duplicated them. Boston College has two losses. They're out of it. They do not have one loss and likely done. They have two losses, and they are done. They are eliminated. Georgia Tech, probably out of it, just too far to climb. Same thing for Illinois. Same thing for Louisville. Northwestern just lost to Duke. Yeah, it's going to be hard to go to the college football playoff if you lost to Duke, unless Duke turns out to be a great team. And that's why these teams are not completely out of it just yet. Duke could go on to win the ACC. I mean, it's not going to happen, but it could. And that loss wouldn't look so bad for Northwestern. Oregon, just the fact that they got beat so bad by Georgia, even if they went out, is the committee going to give them another shot potentially at Georgia? I don't know. Stanford, again, so far to climb. Not a team that's looked at as a top 25 team coming into the year. Texas A&M losing to App State. I don't see them getting in the playoff. I mean, if they go undefeated and they win the SEC, or, or the rest of the way, go undefeated the rest of the way, and they win the SEC, It'll be interesting. I don't know what the committee would do in that scenario, but the odds of them going undefeated the rest of the season are very, very, very small. Vanderbilt, kind of the same story. They're not going to win the rest of their games, so a second loss is going to do them in. And then Virginia losing to Illinois, a team that's also on this list. I don't see Virginia really coming back from that. So these teams I can't technically eliminate, uh, but... They're not. I mean, these teams are. None of these teams are going to make the college football playoff. I think we would all agree on that. The one team that I guess you would would say has a tiny chance from these teams would be Oregon, if the committee forgives that loss. I think they have the talent to win the rest of their games potentially. Uh, so they're the one team that maybe has a chance, but I just don't see them getting another opportunity, even if they do win the rest of their games, unless they just start looking really, really good and Georgia continues to just blow everyone out. How about the one-loss teams that still have 
a decent chance. One loss, but still alive. We got Florida, Iowa, LSU, and Missouri. Also Purdue, South Carolina, Texas, Utah, and Wisconsin. So Florida, obviously they went out, they're in. Iowa, you went out, you're in. LSU went out. All these teams, if they went out, they're going to be in the college football playoff. Uh, except maybe Utah, maybe Texas. I think, yeah, Texas, if they went out, win the Big 12, and their only loss comes to Alabama, they're going to be in. Uh, Utah, I don't know if, if a Pac-12 team is going to get in this year or not. It's just hard to say. The loss to Florida was week one. It was on the road. I, I think the committee is going to forgive that loss if this team gets hot and they win the rest of their games. I think Utah probably gets in the playoff, but it's no guarantee. But for the most part, I think these teams, if they win the rest of their games, will be in the college football playoff. It's not going to happen, though. I mean, South Carolina is probably not going to beat Georgia. They're definitely, I mean, they're not going to win the rest of their games unless something crazy happens. You know, Purdue would have a, a decent chance. Texas, maybe. Wisconsin didn't look good. Uh, Utah, probably the best chance out of these teams to run the table and win the rest of their games. Florida has to go through Georgia. Iowa has absolutely no offense. Uh, LSU has a tough, tough schedule. Missouri has to go through the East and Georgia and Florida and South Carolina and Kentucky. I mean, these teams, I would say for, from this group of teams, Utah would be the team with the best chance. If Quinn Ewers was healthy, uh, Texas might even be in this conversation as well to have a, a real good chance to win out. They looked really good against Alabama, but... Yeah, most of these these teams here, we could get a, a one of these teams. I would say there is pretty much no chance that we would see two teams off of this list in the college football playoff. So what does the picture look like now? Not much change. Not much has changed as far as the actual playoff picture from last week. I flipped Georgia and Alabama. So if the favorites went out, Georgia and Alabama are going to win the rest of their regular season games. But I think Georgia would now be favored over Alabama which would put Georgia winning the SEC championship and giving them the one seed, dropping Alabama down to the three. Ohio State, can they win out? That'll be interesting to see. But if they do, they will be number two behind Georgia, in my opinion. And then the front runners right now for that number four spot, you've got Michigan, because I think there's a very good chance that Michigan will be 11-1 and at the end of the season with that that one loss coming to Ohio State. What could hurt them would be the non-conference schedule. Oklahoma is still the favorite in the Big 12. I don't think a Big 12 team's getting in. I've said this before. Uh, the teams are going to beat up on each other. We're not. I do not expect to see a one-loss team out of the Big 12. I think the the champion at best will have two losses. So I don't see that happening. But they seem to be the favorites right now. Clemson seems to be the favorites in the ACC. Even though I picked Miami to win that conference, I would put Miami in that spot instead of Clemson. Uh, and we'll really know for sure about the Hurricanes after this game against Texas A&M on Saturday. And then USC, they're the team out of the Pac-12 that has the best shot to get in right now. They've already got a big win over Stanford. They're going to be favored in every game that they play except for maybe Utah. So I think they are in this conversation as well. Going to be a really fun battle for that number four spot. Or perhaps it's one of those teams that already has a loss or maybe a team that kind of comes out of nowhere. We'll see what happens there. But this is the current the current playoff picture, in my opinion, just two weeks into the season. Your thoughts on the college football playoff picture and who has been eliminated down in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more here on the SG1 Sports College Football Channel.